Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today what we are going to be using is demonstrating how to use a parameter to change the measure on your graph. Maybe you have two different measures that you would want to look at, maybe say average price, total revenue, something like that. You can switch between those using a parameter and we're going to demonstrate how to do that. First of all, we need to connect to some data. Um, I'm going to use a commodity prices data set that I've actually used in a previous video. You can download this, there's a link in the comments section, it's one of the global economic indicators indicators data sets. Uh, we're going to use the annual data, doesn't really matter what we use. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here, so we're going to change this to period. Uh, then we're going to go to our worksheet. Um, you can see we actually have a number of different pricing options uh, across the top. All sorts of things from aluminum, bananas, bananas, barley, beef, chicken, coal, all sorts of things. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a parameter that's going to allow us to choose between a number of those options. So the first thing we have to do is a little bit of data cleanup. So again, we have to just convert these quickly to... whoops. I've accidentally created a copy. I didn't want to do that. We're just going to convert these quickly to uh, continuous variables to numbers, um, and then we're going to drag them down onto the measure self. So the first thing we need to do is change the data type to decimal numbers. You'll see that changes everything to a number. Then we're going to drag these down onto the shelf here. Then we're going to take period, which is actually the year that we created at the top. We're going to convert that to a measure, and we're going to drag it out onto the columns shelf. Now. You'll see here we have our little visualization with all of our years. Let's say we wanted to look at the price of aluminum. Normally you drag that onto the thing and we get this very nice bar graph which shows us the price of aluminum. But if you then wanted to see the price of beef, the only way to do that is either to add it next to it or to drag it and drop it over the top so that you replace it. Now we're looking at the price of beef. But we can change that with a parameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, first of all, a parameter. So we're going to create a parameter that allows us to select a couple of different things. So we're going to say this is our selection parameter. We're going to change the data type to be a string. And then we're going to give it a list of allowable values. The first value that we'll have is beef. The second value we'll have is aluminum or aluminium, depending on where you're from. And we're just going to click OK. We'll leave it with just those two values for the moment. Then we're going to create a calculated field that is price. We're just going to call it price for the moment. And then we're going to say if our parameter, which we call the selection parameter, is exactly equal to beef, then this price is going to be equal to the price of beef. We're just going to drag that over there. Else if the selection parameter is exactly equal to alu... Well, that's not the one we want. Alumin e aluminum. There we go. We're going to forget that we want to put quotes around these two. If it's exactly equal to aluminum. Then we're going to show the price of aluminum. Uh, else... If there's an error, we're going to return zero. Then we're going to end it. Remember, you always have to put the end after your if calculations. And hit OK. Then we're going to take price, which is up at the top here, and we're going to drag that onto the period. All right, so not 100% sure which one this is. I think it's beef. Uh, if we click on the parameter down here and click show parameter control, you'll see that at the moment it's selected to beef. But if we change that to aluminum, our graph changes. And now we have the price of aluminum. Just as easy as that. Now, obviously, you can have multiple options in there. If you wanted multiple options in there, we could have one option for everything on this list. And then we wouldn't have to change the measure on the rows shelf. This means that when you build a dashboard, you can give your users the option of changing what they're looking at in a visualization without having to go through the rigmarole of changing the field um, or having a bunch of different visualizations on the screen at once. You can just give them the option to change what they're looking at on one particular visualization. Thank you very much for joining us for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There is a link to the data set in the video description. And uh, if you like what you see, if you like learning about Tableau, then please subscribe for more Tableau tips and tricks, and we will see you next time.